Hello all, welcome to EC Electronics. So in today's video, we are going to see some interview questions on semiconductor theory. It is a very important subject which you, uh, which you have to prepare for any interviews which you are going to give on electronics based companies or core companies. So we are going to see some basic questions from semiconductor theory. So at least these questions should be uh, familiar to you if you are attending the interviews. Okay. So part one we have already done. If you haven't watched the part one, please go watch the part one. This is a series which I'm doing for interview preparation for core companies. So this is a part two. We are going to see some more questions from semiconductor theory. If you are seeing the channel for the first time, please consider subscribing to the channel. So let's see the first question. The first question is addition of trivalent impurity to a semiconductor creates many dash. So there are two types of impurities. Generally, we add to semiconductors uh, to do the process of doping or you can say increasing uh, or altering the property or the conductivity of the semiconductor material. Here, uh, there are two types of impurities, pentavalent and trivalent. Pentavalent means just like the name is saying, penta means five. Pentavalent is five valence electrons. So a pentavalent impurity atom is having five valence electrons in the outer shell. Trivalent means tri three, three valence electrons in the outer shell. Now, when you are uh, taking a silicon atom, it is having four valence electrons in the outer shell and it requires nearby four other valence electrons to form a complete pair of covalent bonding okay but when we are taking a trivalent impurity uh, an atom of a trivalent impurity is only having three electrons so there is a deficiency of one electron so addition of trivalent impurity will create holes okay holes will be created or vacancy of electrons uh, will be created Okay, so that is the answer of the first question. When you are adding trivalent impurity, we will be creating more holes. Okay, now a hole in a semiconductor is defined as dash. This is a very uh, important question. A lot of people are really confused about the concept of hole. What is actually hole? Is there some, uh, some uh, something which is called hole? Actually, a hole is an incomplete part of electron pair bone. So in order to form a covalent bond between two electrons, there should be one electron from one atom and another electron from another nearby or neighboring atom. Just like that, an electron covalent bond is created. But when there is a vacancy of an electron, what happens? There is only one electron in a covalent bond and there is no other electron to share the covalent bond. So a vacancy of an electron is created. This incomplete part or this vacancy of an electron is called a hole. So it is just a vacancy of an electron. So there is no such particles called uh, holes. Holes are just vacancies of electrons. We know that electrons are negatively charged. When a negative, negatively charged is removed, so when there is a deficiency of a negative charge, we take it as a positive charge. That's why we say electrons are positive charge. Sorry, uh, holes are positive charge and we represent them with the uh, symbol plus. Okay, so this is the concept of hole. Please try to understand more about the electron and hole concept because that is the baseline of electronic subject itself. Okay, next question is a hole and an electron is a uh, in close proximity would tend to dash. So when there is a hole and a uh, electron in closer proximity means when they are close to each other, they tend to dash. There are some options. One, repel each other. Uh, two, attract each other. Three, have no effect on each other. Four, none of this. The correct answer is they attract each other. We know positive charge and negative charge, they attract each other. But actually what is happening is Hole, we know there is a deficiency of an electron. So when an electron is finding this deficiency or a vacant place, it suddenly go and sit on this place. So they tend to attract or you can say the electron is actually filling that vacancy, which is hole. Hole is the vacancy of an electron. So electron is filling that vacancy and then we can say they attract each other. So symbolically you can say attract each other, but what is actually happening is they are going and filling the vacancy. This is how the 
process is happening. The next question is in a semiconductor current conduction is due to dash. One only hole, two only free electron, holes and free electrons, none of this. So we can say in a uh, semiconductor conductivity is happening or current conduction is happening due to both of this. The positive charge is also important and the negative charge is also important. And due to the holes and electron current conduction happens. When we study the transistor structure and all, this will be more clear. Uh, how the electrons is flowing, how the positive charge or the holes is uh, flowing. Uh, so how this is happening, how the current conduction is happening. Everything will be clear when you are actually studying the transistor structures and all. Okay. So three holes and free electron, they both contribute to current conduction. Next one, the random motion of hole and free electron due to thermal agitation is called dash. One, diffusion. Two, pressure ionization none of this the correct answer is it is called diffusion due to thermal agitation when the electrons and holes most randomly it is called diffusion it happens in the semiconductor okay the next question a pentavalent impurity has dash valence electron very uh, simple question we have already discussed about this thing in the beginning of the video itself pentavalent from the name it's itself it is implying penta is five valent means pentavalent 5 valence electrons correct answer 5 valence electrons next question an n-type semiconductor is dash 3 uh, next question an n-type semiconductor is dash positively charged negatively charged electrically neuter none of this n-type semiconductor as a whole if you take they are electrically neutral this is very uh, very what you say very common mistake made by everybody uh, whether it is in competitive exams or in interviews n type semiconductor as a whole it is electrically neutral okay so uh, they are not positively charged they are not negatively charged n type semiconductor has more uh, what you say electrons but as a whole they are electrically neutral okay so that is the answer for the question the next question which will be the last question that we'll be seeing today. A forward bias PN junction diode has a resistance of the order of dash. Ohms, kilo ohms, mega ohms, none of this. Forward biased means they are ready for conduction or the conduction is possible through a forward diased PN junction. So the resistance is lesser. So it will be in the range of ohms only, not kilo ohms, not mega ohms. It is only in the range of ohms. One more thing, if you don't know what is a PN junction, when we club together a P-type semiconductor and a N-type semiconductor, then we get a PN junction diode. It is a very, um, what do you say, very famous topic in electronics, PN junction diode. There are two types of semiconductors which we create by doping, N-type semiconductors, which is having surplus amount of electrons but p-type uh, semiconductors is also there they are having deficiency of electrons or surplus amount of holes okay when they together when they come they are being combined together or connected back to back we will get p-n junction diode there are two type of biasing for p-n junction diode there is forward biasing reverse biasing anyway just understand during a forward bias condition you can say that this uh, p-n junction diode it conducts normally and the resistance will be less in the next part of this video we will be discussing more about what is forward bias what is reverse bias and everything but just understand during forward bias p-n junction is having lesser resistance okay so these are the questions that we are seeing in today's video i'm really hoping that you found the content useful please like the video if it was useful share the video with your friends thanks for watching keep on watching